Welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we've got another Trash Fisher treasure for you guys. Stay tuned. Alright guys, here's a little footage from over the Indian River catching a Trash Fish King ladyfish. We finally got us a trash fish here. That is your common ladyfish. All right. Maybe we finally got something that's not a treasure, but we're gonna throw it in the ice, and we're definitely gonna find out. There are millions of them out here. All right, go ahead. Oh, got him! Big lady. So we decided to go back to flats fishing. We got into these big lady fish. This is Ernie's first one today. It's a freaking hoss one too for a lady fish. I just caught one. A little smaller than this guy. Oh, there he is. Yeah, <laughs> for the camera. A lot of fun. That's a that is a freaking yeah. He's got little shoulders on him. Bring around here and show them to the camera. There you go. Lady fish, aka poor man's tarpon. <laughs> Ernie Feller, master fisherman. <laughs> Okay guys, common ladyfish. All right, let's go ahead. I, I have to do start mine upside down. Cut right behind the head. Get right back here by the tail. And we're just pressing the knife down toward the backbone. These have a very soft rib gauge. Uh, you can just go right through it. As a matter of fact, you can go right through the backbone too. Um, but he has very, very thin little ribs. You can see them here. He has a very um, soft, I guess is the way to describe it. The only thing I've ever used these for is bait. Or to have a good time catching when there's nothing else biting. This is a baby one. They do get quite a bit bigger. He was the only one we could keep hooked up yesterday. They, they jump like crazy, so they're, uh, they're easily come up and throw your lure. Got very tiny scales also. And like I said, the bones are very soft, so they're easy to just cut right through the backbone if you're not real careful. Normally, I'm just cutting this guy up for redfish bait. take that rib off very mushy very mushy texture you can see just touching it almost uh... all right folks here's what we're gonna need we need our uh, ladyfish fillets there they are some seasoning we got Seminole Swamp and some uh, Everglades I think I'm gonna use Everglades on this one uh, 
some batter. Uh, this all-purpose Zatarans, crispy batter, seafood, some mayo, and one egg. You guys have seen me do this before. This is the best way to batter anything. Right, guys, I'm going to apologize for the camera angle. is not the best in the world. Again, I, we have, we've lost our, our main camera and are back to a like a six, seven year old camera we used to use back when we first started this channel. If you guys would like to help with that uh, cause, um, I'll leave a link down to our new Patreon account. So if you guys go there and become a, a Patreon of Backwoods Gourmet, and we're going to have a bunch of special stuff for you guys. All right. That was about two tablespoons of mayo and one egg. And a nice mixing bowl. You're going to need a whisk to whisk it together. Uh, it'll take you forever to try to do that with a spoon or a fork or anything like that. Whisk works the best. And plus you want to get some air into it. Get some air up in that egg. And uh, the whisk really helps to do that. It gets, starts to get a little bit of foamy. Kind of lift it up and over. It's like you're uh, beating eggs. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about this wash. Well, isn't easy mayo already just oil and eggs? Uh, so yes, it's oil and egg yolks. We're adding an uh, additional egg yolk and the egg whites back to it. And something magic happens when you do that. So you want to be just like that, just a little bit foamy. So we've got that ready. Now we're going to go ahead and get our lays over here so we're gonna go a little bit of a little bit of Everglades on you guys Let's get both sides of them these things are a real pain in the butt to fillet you know this one right here looks like it's been through meat grinder already the meat has uh, like zero texture to it so I don't know how this is going to be. I've never in my life, ever, swear to God, I've never, ever eaten this. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and put our filet in our basket here. It just helps to sift out the uh, leftover. Give it just a light dusting of our Zatarans just to get it pre covered and soak up that initial moisture. I'm going to be putting it back in here uh, again so you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be 100% covered at this point. So just want to dredge it kind of. I'm trying to save my batter. I don't have a whole lot left here, so we used this for the okra yesterday, and oh man, it was great on okra. Really good on okra. Okay. So I already have some batter in the bottom of the bowl there too. And now we're going to run this through the egg wash. Let's make sure that it's nice and coated nice coating of that foamy egg and that's going to help a lot of that batter to stick all right so we're just going to kind of bounce it around in there make sure it all gets a nice coating of the batter on mess here. Now we got to put a little more in. And this is messy guys. Uh, no way around it. Right. That gets plenty on there. If you don't have any bare spots, just put it on the pan. Alright, clean this mess up. We're ready for the fryer. So if y'all are asking uh, why we gotta fry the ladyfish, 
Well, it's in, to, in, uh, in response to the comments from some of our other trash fish videos where we fried it. And people said, you can fry up a turd and that tastes good too. Well, I assure you that fried turds are not good. We'll find out about ladyfish. Here it goes. Catch and release over hot grease. King of trash fish. The lady fish reminds me of a little story that my uh, oldest son told me. He went out fishing with a guide in, uh, here in Florida and they caught uh, a bunch of big lady fish. And, and they're a ball to catch. And um, I guess he'd asked the guide, he's like, uh, you know why they call these things lady fish? And the guide, without, without ever missing a beat, he says, yeah, because they're fun to catch, but then they shit all over you. Hey guys, uh, time for the plate backwards gourmet style. I'm gonna take just a little bit of our uh, coleslaw right here in the corner. And then uh, we have some fried potato wedges. To make those, we just uh, cut the potato wedges, we season them with Seminole Swamp seasoning and fried them very slowly so they would cook all the way through. We let them sit for a little while and then we stuck them back in the fryer and flash fried them to, to crisp, crisp them up a little bit. And here's one of our ladyfish fillets right there. And there's the other one. And just a little sprig of basil. Alrighty, there you go. Fried ladyfish, back with gourmet style. Well, I don't think I've ever been uh, any more apprehensive about eating a dish that I made myself, you know, caught the fish myself, prepared it myself, cleaned it myself, than I am uh, to try this one. Mm. It's pretty. Alright guys, here we go. Taste test. Deep fried ladyfish. It's like every piece I get has got just a million bones in it. you pick bones 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 the flavor is not that bad um, but much like your uh, your pickerel it's also a great tasting fish bones millions of them they're so fine I really couldn't uh, see those when we cleaned them but everywhere through them, it's just bones. There's a piece, maybe, I don't know. All bones. Okay. Well, at least we got some. Mm. Some good taters to eat. So, the answer to the question trash fish or treasure? Definitely trash. I knew we'd find it, and there it is, lake fish. So that's the problem, millions of bones. So if you're out fishing, the lady fish are jumping like crazy, catching them every cast, you're thinking about, hey, maybe I want to take one of these home to eat, just leave them out there.
or use it for cut bait. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right here. Hey, you want to see our last video? Check it out right up here. And for a whole playlist of Trash Fisher Treasure videos, look right up here. We'll see you next time.